In today's video, we are going to the Google Bins for the first time in Wisconsin. Now, if you guys have watched me before, you guys have probably seen my going to the bins for the first time video. That one was in Indiana, and I actually have gone there a few times. I'd say around like five or six. What's up, Beast? Uh, I just didn't want to. No, you're good. I was going to be ready. You should still. I, I still do it. You still can. There's time. Right foot creep, move, walk with it, eat them. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see. All right. All right, what was I saying? <laughs> All right, so we're going to the Wisconsin bins for the first time. I remember being like super excited to go because both bins are like an hour away car ride for me. So it's always like a trip. It's always like I have to plan for it. I have to wake up extra early. So it's like always a little bit of excitement. You're like, you're walking into something you don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. Instead of me explaining, let's just watch the footage of me on that day. Also, one more thing before I forget, this weekend coming up, December 3rd, there is an event in Wisconsin, so perfect for this video, it is at the Milwaukee Bucks Stadium, which is so sick. It's December 3rd, Wisconsin Vintage Fest. I hope to see you guys there. It is my birthday, say what's up. And yeah, just if you're in the area, pop out. Uh, looking forward to seeing y'all. All right, back to the video. What's up guys? We're currently on our way to the Wisconsin Bins. I've never been before, it's about an hour and 15 minutes away from my apartment in Chicago. I really don't know too much about this bins in particular, but I have heard that it's like one person per bin at the beginning and then people can go in after or something. I'm not 100% sure, I don't really know. It, it seems a little confusing, but I'm sure when I get there, I'll figure it all out. But I do know some people that actually go here frequently and from their Instagram stories, it does look like there's some heat in here. So I'm pulling up about an hour and a half after it's opened so i don't know if that's that's probably not the best thing i still just wanted to go because like you gotta try everything man and who knows maybe this spot is like insane and i make this drive all the time now but yeah we got a little bit of our drive left i haven't been to wisconsin in a minute so let's just enjoy this It's always hella exciting going to a new place like this because like I just have no idea what I'm getting myself into like it could be fire or it could be completely ass but there's only one way to find out so let's go by the way this place is huge so check this out everyone is going one at a time in the bins they're very different from Indiana. And then you kind of just wait behind for the next person. Interesting. All right, so this is how the cart's looking right now. We got some shoes, we got a ton of clothes, but low key is all kind of mid, nothing too crazy yet. But I mean like this place just functions so differently than Indiana. So like, I'm just trying to get used to it. I've been here for like two or three hours so far. Just kind of going through the old bins. With it being like one at a time, I'm really not sure like, when the new bins come out i'm kind of trying to figure it out and people like just kind of wait by a bin so then they're first in line you kind of have to wait behind them then they take all the good stuff so i don't really know just trying to figure it out but i mean we got a full cart but i'm gonna go through it now probably put some stuff back but it's not too bad so far I've literally been here since 10.30 and it is three o'clock now. And I have not been first at a bin once yet, bro. All these guys here know exactly what rotation is gonna happen and when. I'm just getting killed out here, bro. Insane. 
Also, crazy story. Apparently someone was just like going through a jacket, he hears some change or something. And one of his homies was like, hey bro, I think I heard some change in there. Puts his hand inside, thousand dollars in cash. How? Insane. Like that's unreal, bro. He he grabbed that shit and left immediately, bro. I'm not even lying. I wish I was lying. But dude, people come in here and sometimes they just check bags, purses, pockets, and, and just look for money. It's insane, bro. But a rack is crazy. I have a lot of mid shit per usual, but you know, good 15, $20 flip uh, on most things. Uh, I found a few blankets and blanks for my homies. So I got like three guys now who want blanks and blankets. So I'm hitting them up. I think I have a few things sold already. So. We're gonna make some profit today, but the bin's pretty full and we're gonna go home decently happy. I'm not gonna complain too much. I might hit one of the Goodwills that are close by here just to see if there's anything there on my way home. But uh, I'm gonna hit the beach after this, man. That's what that's my plan today. It's 100 degrees today. It's one of the hottest days this summer. So I'm going to the beach. That's just how I'm feeling today. Oh, nice. I'm gonna grab that. See what I'm saying? Like, this is a nice crew neck. It's nothing crazy, but it's got like the cuffings, good neck. Hey, yo! And the bottom. That's fire. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people go through these bins, but they leave shit back. So I'm just here going through shit, finding what I can. And I'm checking the older bins while other people are over there, all waiting for a new rotation. But my dumbass doesn't know when that is happening. So I'm gonna go through the old bins and try to find, and try to scavenge some shit. I would dig more, but I am holding my phone in my hand, so it's not ideal for digging. I'm going very surface level right now, but it's still effective if you know, if you have a good eye for it. Not seeing too much on top levels. Another example, look at this. There's crop crew neck right here, just sitting on top. Someone probably didn't want this because it's cropped, but I actually just sold something cropped the other day. So like, crop shit still sells, man. This is a nice ass crew neck. I could easily get 15 to 20 on this. Grabbing it. At some point, I'm gonna have so much shit that I'm just gonna open a store, man. Cause these events, as much as I love them and I make a good amount of money doing them, they are just a bitch to bring shit to. And if I could just have a cool ass store where people can pull up, that's what I would love, man. Look at this, Camp Evelyn. It's a nice crew neck, but I'm not gonna grab that. But yeah, one day, one day we'll have the store. It's in the near future, I can tell. Let me know if y'all see anything that I might miss. Comment down below if I missed it. See, like this is, this is too mid. I don't think anyone's gonna buy this. But it is the wizard, so it's cool, but like, I'm not gonna cop. Bro, that's screaming. Gotta relax ASAP. That's insane. Can't I can't have that screaming in my ear like that anymore. Man, now they got me checking pockets out here because of that thousand dollars. That's crazy, bro. Nice leather jackets you can find, man. It's too heavy. I don't want to grab that. It's gonna add up. See, like, while I'm doing this, man, those guys are still waiting over there for the, the bin to come out. And I'm, I'm, I'm scavenging right now. And I'm finding all the, the hidden gems right now. So, joke's on them. Hmm. Echo Unlimited. I don't know if this is worth getting. Is this a brand that people fuck with, actually? I highly doubt it. Maybe I'm wrong. Comment if I'm wrong. All right, so I'm surrounded by my clothes right now. This is pretty much everything. They're bringing out another rotation right now, but of course I'm doing this, so I'm not first in line, so I'm not gonna get anything good. It's kind of been like that all day. I've been getting a bunch of mids, nothing crazy. Um, some of my favorite pieces are all in this pile, like this sweater, Adidas hoodie, bears, Adidas hoodie, cut and sew flannel, Michael Jackson tee, Harley, but it's like a, it's like a cutoff. This Colts crew neck, this Jaguars hoodie, and then a Penn State crew neck as well. And then these shoes are pretty cool as well. But like, other than that, I got some Gymshark shorts, 
some colored pants that I haven't wanted for a minute. This is all a bunch of like funky stuff. It's a cool vest. Bunch of crew necks, blankets and blanks. Some North Faces, I'm gonna try to sell these. If not, I'm just gonna take them to Play-Dohs because I'll still make profit. Um, these are a bunch of shirts I got. And then a few jerseys, Bears and Notre Dame, and then a couple blank hoodies and other hoodies. It's not too bad, can't complain. Um, it's been a good day. It's a good first experience for this. I'll be more prepared for next time. My ass had to get out of there, man. I'm tired as hell. I've been in there all day. It says it's about to take me two hours just to get home. I'm not having a good time. I'm gonna go get some food. But like overall, cart's full of shit. I spent like 80 bucks. And you know what? First time experience at the Goodwill bins in Wisconsin. Not too bad, man. Nothing like seeing a full trunk, man. That looks beautiful, you know? I should be happier than I am, man. I got a lot of clothes. I'm gonna sell it all. So that's good. All right, so here are my thoughts on the Wisconsin Goodwill bins. I don't know how I feel about the one at a time person thing, one per bin type situation. I've been, I was really accustomed to like the whole free for all kind of thing that Indiana had going on. So even knowing that before when I got there, it was still like very interesting and I wasn't really sure how to do it. So walking in there, I was like, whoa, this is gonna be intense. This is gonna be kind of crazy. and. As you guys saw, I didn't get first once in any of the bins, man. I was just slow to everything. I didn't feel like running. Like people were like that ass running in that bitch, dude. It was crazy. Um, definitely an experience that if I went enough, I would learn the rotations. I'm pretty good homies with all the guys in there now because I've done multiple events. And every time I see them now, we always deck each other up. We always say, yo, what'd you get recently? How'd you do? How did you do with this event? It's like, it's a dope community. When you're in like in the vendor space and you make friends, it's actually really cool because everyone just wants to see everyone else like eat and win, you know? That was positive, that was great. Um, as far as the finds went, I think I found some pretty decent stuff. I mean, I expected, I think, to get a little bit more cooler pieces. I did see a lot of people got some cool things there, like, because everyone just kind of has their carts in a corner after we're done thrifting and everyone kind of looks at each other's stuff. A lot of people had some really cool stuff. Like some people had some wrap tees, some bowls tees, I think, I don't really remember. But uh, it was crazy, it was cool. But uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, dude. All right, bet. It, maybe. Are you bringing it down? Yeah, I'm letting you take the first sip. Okay. I get the first sip? Which flavor is this? Juicy mango. Okay. This is a product called Wink, um, not sponsored but uh, they sent me a little PR package with their new drink. It's now in Chicago. It's called Wink. It has a seltzer, or it's a seltzer, but it has no alcohol. It's just THC and CBD. Um, I don't really smoke, so it's gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna have a little sip though. Interesting. Is it bad? Yeah, it kind of tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but you can taste the mango a little bit. I don't know. Can you taste the weed? It has like a back weed taste a little bit. That I don't think that's the right flavor for it. It's not all. It's just yeah. A seltzer. Yeah. I don't know. More seltzers are more fruity. It's like a sparkling water. Yeah. That, they said it tastes like a. What did they say in that thing? It tastes like what? A San Pellegrino or some shit? That's what it, yeah. Close enough. Or no. Uh, fuck. They said something else, but whatever. That's what it tastes like. Um. Yeah. That was the taste review. Um. It wasn't that bad. All right, I, I guess uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. I got my last episode of the challenge I've been doing, $1 to $10,000, uh, is coming very soon. So definitely subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out, bro. What are you doing? And then check out all the links in my bio. Got all my socials in there. Got my brand. Got everything, man. Just check that out. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.